Well, it's not just about parades and memorials. This Memorial Day is about teaching and coping. Older veterans helping younger veterans escape the demons of war. Returning from duty can be a painful process. NBC Bay Area's Damien Trujillo spoke with veterans separated by a generation. And Damien, these older veterans can be a powerful ally for those who are just now coming home, correct? And they're doing just that, uh, Roger. The veterans will tell you the military does a good job of turning them into fighters, but getting that fight out of them when they return home isn't always easy. Now, thanks in part to Vietnam veterans, getting help has become easier. The war ended almost 40 years ago for Ricardo Hernandez, but in many ways, the Vietnam veteran is still fighting that war. I'm still under uh, a program with a, with a vet center. I, I've been through the post-traumatic stress uh, uh, classes, and I've been through the anger management classes. Uh, I still have some ailments. His buddy, Yu Wong, knows why. Uh, when we came back, I think uh, Vietnam veterans got mistreated, and I think it took 30-something years before they uh, realized uh, uh, how bad the Vietnam veterans uh, got them when they came back. These Vietnam veterans say they're glad the nation is finally getting it, if not for them, for their brothers and sisters fighting today. One of them is Jesus Fernandez, two tours in Afghanistan with the 4th Infantry Division proud to be here and just honored to stand next to men who have done it before me, before I was even born. The Department of Veterans Affairs is urging veterans like Fernandez to get help, even if they think they're okay. The director of the San Jose Vet Center says she doesn't want returning veterans to be treated like those who fought in Vietnam. That's why we're right there, 90 days after they come home, we're right there doing assessment. Juanita Morales Euresti says those who suffer from PTSD deserve a Purple Heart because they too are injured in combat. It just so happens that their scars are on the inside. I think that historically, a PTSD was not treated. Um, it was known as um, combat fatigue, uh, other things throughout uh, the centuries, but we now realize that it is an actual neurological response to a very serious uh, war experience. PTSD impacts the brain. They don't come back as, their, as the former person that went into war. Ricardo Hernandez learned that the hard way. Right. 40 years, and a part of him is still in Vietnam. Ricardo is an American patriot serving in Vietnam in 1971 and 72. He's now sort of a peer support counselor for returning veterans over at the San Jose Vet Center. If you know a veteran who might need some help, log on to our website, NBCBayArea.com, and click on our story today. We're live in San Jose. I'm Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.